What's going on everybody? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are talking about the comments, the latest comments from George Floyd's brother at this press conference. Now obviously Derek Chauvin has uh, been sentenced to I think it was 22 and a half years um, so obviously there's a lot of coverage, there's a lot of media coverage going on, the family of George Floyd is speaking and George Floyd's brother steps up to the microphone and has this to say. Now, this specific terminology, over and over and over again, we have been told that this represents white supremacy. This represents racism. And people have been fired for saying this. People have been canceled for saying this. The mob has come after people for saying this. And this is where identity politics is such a joke, which all of it's a joke. But when it gets specifically into stuff like this, the mob mentality, the NPC behavior, the people that run around and just spew this nonsense, this you're an ist, you're an ism, you're pushing this, you're pushing that, everyone's a Trump supporter. Those lunatics, those non-playable characters in the game of life, I can't wait to see how they're going to portray this situation. Because again... If anyone else in any other situation would have said this same exact terminology, the mob would have been coming after them. If this would have been a professional athlete or an actor or just some random person, the mob would have come after them and canceled them and tried to end their career and, you know, ruin their family, their reputation, everything. But George Floyd's brother says this right after the announcement of the Derek Chauvin sentencing I'll be interested to see how they get themselves in this pretzel because we know that social justice warriors are always contradicting themselves because it's who they are, it's what they do. But let's listen to the comments and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Her daughter is walking around and I know she's in tears every day thinking about her mother. Her mother was killed in point blank range, shot multiple times. So many different people all around the world who didn't even have this type of technology. I just want to reiterate, not just black lives matter, all lives matter. We need to stand up and fight. Can't get comfortable, because when you get comfortable, people forget about you. Amen. So the legend will still live on. George is not here, but... And, you know, I have nothing but respect for for this for this guy. And, and you know, look, this is an opportunity. The, the, the spotlight is on him and his family. And, you know, he's not trying to add divisive language to the equation. He's trying to, you know, add unifying language to the equation. And I respect that because um, it kind of goes back to the Spider-Man quote, great power comes great responsibility. You have that opportunity right there. And for him to, to say something that he knows isn't necessarily the favorable thing with the media and social media and, and big tech and Hollywood, but He's looking at it from a bigger standpoint, and he's not trying to continue to divide people on trying to separate you know, people based on their race or anything like that. Now, I respect that. Now, I don't know anything else about this guy, um, but these comments right here I thought were very interesting for a lot of different reasons, mainly just to see how the, the left is going to handle it. And in my opinion, they're probably just going to overlook it. They're probably just not going to deal with it um, because... Uh, it puts them in a very, very difficult position. Um, they can't really call this person out for all of the other... And then again, I'm just telling you to play by the rules that you've created. You, left-wing people, you have decided that anyone that says that term that he just said, you have decided that anyone that says that is an ist or an ism or is pushing white supremacy. You decided that. So now, with me holding you to the standard that you created... Now I'm interested what your opinions on him saying it is. I can't wait to see how this all plays out. But again, if I'm guessing, I would just, I would just assume they'll probably try to ignore it because they always try to ignore things that contradict their narrative because that's the type of people they are. But they will scream to the heavens and they will try to get anyone else canceled as long as it lines up with the non-playable characters downloaded information that they get. And again, it's like the NPC meme, non-playable characters in the game of life. The only information they can share is the information they're allowed to share, the information that they download, the preset information, and then they are able to repeat it once they receive the download. That's who these people are. They don't have a working brain. They don't have a mind of their own. They're only repeating what they are told to repeat. That's who they are. 
They're lazy. They don't want to work for anything. They don't want to try to accomplish anything. They want the government to protect them and handouts and everything like that. Uh, they love to spew things like tax the rich and then like uh, the a AOC girl, the uh, Nico or whatever her name is, tax the rich. Oh, by the way, here's my $2 million you know, apartment that I bought, even though apparently... She didn't buy it. Apparently, she's renting it, and apparently it wasn't $2 million. But then she bragged about saying, well, people are still watching my video, so it doesn't matter if I'm getting downvoted because I'm making money. But I thought you were against making money. These people have no consistency. They don't understand the bullshit that they spew. They just say whatever they're supposed to say. They don't question it. They don't do any research. They just repeat nonsense. So how are the left-leaning lunatics going to handle this? It will be very interesting. I plan on doing more coverage here on this channel of things. Kamala Harris and the border situation is just incredibly unbelievable. As a matter of fact, check this out while we're on this. I'll, I'll see if I can pull it up real quick. Uh, <laughs> right here. I love this. This is beautiful. I got to turn that down a little bit. Gosh, that's loud. Uh, but this is beautiful. Uh, so good. And then, of course, today, protesters are greeting, uh, greeting Kamala. Jackson in El Paso, Texas, and I'm here to say, Kamala, you came a little too late. We have had this crisis for years. We need solutions. We don't need you parading on the Border Patrol station or acting like you care. Americans matter. America matters. God bless you, America. Love it. Uh, that right there continues to destroy the narrative as well. So yeah, I plan on talking about a lot more of this stuff, uh, just trying to find the time. Obviously, we have a lot going on at Geeks and Gamers, Sports Wars, the website, uh, other things we have working on, our Twitch channel. We're, we're, we're doing a lot, and the only way we're able to do all of that is because of all of you. So thank you all so much for the support. Thank you for everything you do for me and for everyone at Geeks and Gamers. It's greatly appreciated. We're going to continue to move forward. We're going to continue to uh, you know give you our opinions on everything, um, and ultimately, Ultimately, you know, I'm just me. I'm just a regular guy, you know, with opinions. I'm not an expert or anything like that. I'm just here to give you my opinions. You're welcome to agree or disagree with my opinions. You can find other sources of information if you feel that there's uh, a better perspective out there. I welcome that. Um, I'm just trying to give you my individual opinions. That's it. You guys have a great day. Check us out on geeksandgamers.com, our website where you can sign up for free. It's no charge. You can sign up for free and jump in the forums, have whatever discussion you want. And for $10 a month, you can become a premium member that helps support the site and the brand. And also over on Locals, fantastic opportunities over there with Dave Rubin and his team. And we're so happy to be part of that platform. So thank you guys. Have a great day and we will talk to you later.